We must reform our mental health laws to better identify mentally disturbed individuals who may commit acts of violence and make sure those people not only get treatment, but when necessary, involuntary confinement. But the American Psychological Association is warning against placing blame there. A statement from the association's president reads in part this, quote, routinely blaming mass shootings on mental illness is unfounded and stigmatizing research has shown that only a very small percentage of violent acts are committed by people who are diagnosed with or in treatment for mental illness. The rates of mental illness are roughly the same around the world, yet other countries are not experiencing these traumatic events as often as we face them. One critical factor is access to and the lethality of the weapons that are being used in these crimes. Adding racism, intolerance, and bigotry to the mix is a recipe for disaster. In his statement, the president also had this to say. We must stop the glorification of violence in our society. This includes the gruesome and grisly video games that are now commonplace. Yet again, a 2015 study by the Pew Research Center reveals about half of American adults with equal numbers of men and women play video games, whether on a computer, TV game console, or a portable device. But gaming market research company Nuzu found that 60% of Japan's population, 60%, played video games in 2016. And while the 2017 rate of violent gun deaths in the United States was 4.43 per person, Japan, which bans uh, possessing, carrying, selling, or buying handguns or even rifles, had a violent gun death rate of 0.04. The New York Times also points out that in 2011, the Supreme Court rejected the claim that violent video games promote real life violence when it ruled that California could not ban the sale of violent video games to children. In support of the verdict, conservative Justice Antonin Scalia wrote, quote, psychological studies purporting to show connection between exposure to violent video games and harmful effects on children do not prove that such exposure causes minors to act aggressively. Any demonstrated effects are both small and in indistinguishable from effects produced by other media. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.